Yes, last week, Rico Beard pulling within a game of first place. I have to be reading this wrong. David, in all the years that I've filled in and even listened to this show, you are always the caboose. You're winning the picks? Yeah, this is a strange year. The Lions are winning all of a sudden, and I'm winning. Hmm, interesting. A lot of football left. Well, let's get into it. College, one game this week. Army, Navy. The midshipmen are getting two and a half points. It's in Foxborough, Mass. The cadets are out. Who goes first? Rico? Champ. Yeah. Weekly. You know what? How about we just go Navy? <laughs> because it's Army, Navy. I always just root for the underdog. Navy's the underdog. So give me Navy in the points. We're playing total, too. Total's 27 and a half. Well, you know what I've learned listening to cash the ticket? When the total is that low, you take the under. It's going to be another bad game. He goes Navy in the under? Navy in the under. All right, let's go round robin. Kenny. Yeah, Rico hates America, so I'm going to go ahead and disagree with everything he said. It's going to be Army in the over. So you can... So if I go with Navy, that means I hate America. I'm confused. By <laughs> right. That. I'm going to go Navy here because I know a few people in the Navy, and I'm going to go over. Yeah, tough to pick uh, between, obviously, uh, these two teams. A lot of ugly football. But we appreciate what you do off the field. I'm going to go with Army, and I'm going to take the over on this one. That's just way too low. I think two bad teams, maybe a potential for a score fest. Who knows? I don't know about score fest. I don't know. The, the under to 30. <laughs> the under has hit 16 of the last 17 years, but the books have adjusted. This total would have hit the over three of the last four. See, there we go. So I think you zig better. and zag. Most people are betting Army. I will bet Navy on behalf of you hate Mike. America. Apparently, according to Kenny. <laughs> I don't know if I fully stand by that statement. I was just trying to go against Rico. (laughs) I'll go Navy in the over. NFL card. Colts and Bengals. Cincinnati, the home side, laying a point and a half. Rico. I don't understand what's going on with the Colts. They just keep winning games. They should not be winning the Bengals. That was a fluke last week. Yeah, Give me the Colts and the points. Kenny. It's a home game. This is regularly what I would never bet, but Bengals at home, only one and a half. I'll take the Bengals. Move over, Joe Burrow. You're Drew Bledsoe. Jake Browning is the next Tom Brady. I'm going (laughs) Bengals here. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, both these teams seem to uh, feel like they've got to come back to reality at some point. The Bengals coming off of the big win against Jacksonville last week. The Colts winning four games on the last play of the game. Something's got to break. Uh, I'm just going to go with the home team. I think Jake Browning has shown that he can at least manage that offense, and the defense is good enough to keep him in it. So I'm going to take the Bengals on this one. I'm picking for Mike. Mike picks the Bengals. I disagree with this pick vehemently. If you want the reasons, cash the ticket podcast out later today. Mike is going with the Bengals. Bills and Chiefs. This is a marquee matchup. Bills getting a point and a half in Arrowhead. Rico. Um, it's in Arrowhead. The Bills just haven't been right all year. I jumped off that bandwagon last year. I'm going with the Chiefs. Yeah, this is a small number at home for the Chiefs. I'm going to go with Kansas City as well. Yeah, this number made no sense to me. And then this news came out. No Pacheco, no Tranquil, no Donovan Smith. I believe that means the Bills win. Josh got- Allen's still the quarterback, right? Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. He's playing. So long as he's playing, I feel good about the Chiefs. Yeah, they almost took down the Eagles. I think it was overtime game a couple weeks ago now. But no, I th- I'm going to take the Bills here. I think something feels off with the Chiefs' offense. Uh, they have not won a game yet when their defense has allowed more than 20 points this season. Uh, that, to me, tells me that the offense just they ain't doing it. They're not, they're not getting it together. I think I've got some offensive line concerns. I think the Bills are more than capable of scoring – uh, 24, 27 points, and that's kind of been the recipe to beat the Chiefs this year. So I'm going to take the Bills on the road. If you got a score late in the game, which offense do you trust more right now? I think it's the Bills. Bills are the pick, and I think Mike likes the over in the game too. Jags, Browns, we're not picking a side because David's obsessed with these tiny unders. We are only touching the total here. 32 and a half 
in Jags Browns. You know what? Then you start breaking it down. Can you can you win this game twenty to seventeen or something like that? I watched a bad football game last night with the uh, the Steelers losing to the Patriots. If they can do it, the Browns and the Jaguars can do it. Give me the over. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Rico. Potential bad football game looks like the over to me. I don't see Trevor Trevor Lawrence as it playing in this game. So, mm-hmm. and then who's playing quarterback for the Browns? We don't know. I'll go under. Yeah, I think I'm with you. I think there's supposed to be some rough weather throughout the entire Midwest on Sunday. Uh, you talk about a couple. I know Flacco looked okay uh, last week, but a couple bad quarterbacks potentially in this game. I think I'm gonna have to take the under. I know Lawrence is fighting to, to try to play. This suggests he won't. Browns are favored in the game, and the totals in the. Th- 30s, low 30s. I'll go under as well. Texans, Jets. We're doing both the spread and the total. Texans laying three and a half. It's at the Jets. The total's 33 and a half. Um, I look at the Texans. They're the hottest team right now. I mean, as I told you, I, I think Stroud is pretty much locked up the rookie of the year. They're going to score points. I don't know what the weather's going to be like in New York, but I think whatever it is, the Texans will cover so give me the texans and hey man look zach is back he'll do just enough to hit the over so give me the texans and give me the over yeah zach is the reason that i'm picking the texans and zach is also the reason that i'm picking the under he's not going to be very effective zach is the reason why i'm picking the jets and the reason why i'm picking the over i believe in him this time maybe (laughs) <laughs> you, don't, you don't believe that. Yeah, uh, eight time is the charm for Zach Wilson. I think he <laughs> finds a way to pull this one out. Uh, look, you just got to cover three and a half points, right? Give me the Jets, and I'm going to take the under. I think the Texans looked a little off last week once Tank Dell went out of that game, and he's going to be gone for the rest of the season. That throws a, a wrench into their plans, and this could be an ugly 15 to 11 type of game. I don't even know how you get to those scores, but the Jets always seem to do it. So I'm going to take the Jets to cover, and I'm going to take the under as well. Mike goes Texans and under. Next game, Broncos-Chargers division game. Chargers lay in two and a half. Oh, boy. Um, Yeah, this is one where you just flip a coin. <laughs> two to nothing game. Right. <laughs> That's what this looks like. Somehow oh, or another, the Broncos are always battling to the very end, and the Chargers find a way to lose. So logic says take Denver and the points. This is a game I would not bet on, let alone even watch. Um, <laughs> this is why David is winning. Give me because he keeps freaking all. He he's doing the mic thing. The right. Where's Air Force? Yeah, David? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Chargers. <laughs> all right, so I believed in Zach, so I'm going to believe in Staley and Herbert in this game. Let's go Chargers. I, I'm going to take the Broncos. Their defense is uh, the reason why they've won as many games as they have, which I believe is six now. Uh, Chargers always find a way to mess it up. I don't know. Feels weird, but give me the Broncos on the road. Full disclosure, Mike didn't pick one for this. I'm, I'm going to pick for him. Chargers. Packers, Giants, we're only worried about the total on Monday night, 37 and a half. Uh, I'm going to go with the primetime under. Give me the under. Exact same thing. Primetime unders are real this year. I'll take the under. Nope. I believe in Danny DeVito. They're going to score a lot of points. <laughs> I'm going to go over. Did you say that with a straight face? <laughs> Did you actually just say that with a straight face? Uh, yeah. No, nah, this is under. This this 21 to 10 written all over it. Everybody hates the Italian quarterback, huh? Yes. So does the Italian. So does the Italian. <laughs> 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 yeah. Shocking. Eagles, Cowboys, Sunday night. This is great. Cowboys laying three and a half at home. Oh, okay, three and a half. Okay, we didn't have a number for that. Uh, I think the Eagles got embarrassed last week, and I think that the best way to show America we're not dead yet is to go to Dallas and pummel the Cowboys. Give me the Eagles. Primetime unders are real. So is primetime Dak. Give me the Eagles. Ooh. Have you seen the Eagles play? I'm going to go with the Cowboys in this game. I'm taking the Eagles. I don't think they're going to pummel the Cowboys by any means, um, but they do have a bounce-back game in them. 
Three and a half is just they way embarrassed too, TJ. Yeah, they they got to show the world. Three and, that and we're a half. That bad. Three and a half is just way too many points. I think in a divisional matchup of these two caliber teams. So uh, I'm going to take the Eagles to cover that spread. Not every week, but some weeks, Mike will issue a big game bet, a BGB, and that's what this Uh-oh. bet is. He says Cowboys lay the three and a half. He thinks they're getting beat up the Eagles after playing the Niners last week. Mm. The Cowboys finish what they started. Should have won the first meeting. Mike goes Cowboys. Yeah, should have, could have, would have. End with the Lions, who are laying three and a half in Soldier Field against the Bears. Don't know what the weather is going to be like in Chicago, but I do know that Justin Fields will be out there on the field, and he's he's had a lot of mobility against the Lions. They felt like they let one get slip away. I think the Bears recover. Give me the Bears and the points. I think this is a weather game. As I've said, the three and a half is what does it for me. If it's any less than that, I take the Lions. But the half, that bothers me. I'll take the Bears to cover, but not to win. Doesn't matter. That half does not matter. It's going to be rough weather. I'm going the Bears. I'm taking the Lions. I think Jared Goff finds a way to prove us all wrong. Bad weather, good weather, doesn't matter. Uh, I think last week he turned a corner when it came to taking care of the football. Hey, TJ, can you get him to you know do the audible F you cookies? F you cookies. Yeah, I'll put the, I'll put in a request for you. Right. That'd actually be a great one. And look, uh, <laughs> Justin Fields seems to take it personal every time he plays the Lions. Every other team, he averages like 50 yards a game against the Lions. It's like 120-something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think it matters, though. I think as long as the Lions offense does not turn the ball over, uh, they should very well, easily be able to handle this Chicago team on the road. Give me the lines. TJ's on an island because Mike, Mike is going with the Chicago Bears. Oh, haters, haters! I will join him. I echo the no same faith. sentiment. No faith. The Bears beat this it's a team. Nine and three football team cookies. Bears no won. Faith. Bears won the trenches in the first game. No, Mc, no Lee McNeil. Four no rag now. Couple <sighs> key cogs. This is the Bears. Yeah, spot. You're, you're scared. Okay, you're a scared fan. Appreciate you. Those are the picks. Ninety-seven-one, baby.